there are some people kind of bringing up questions here about stuff that we've already covered. So I'll say to you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this will be rerun on Tuesday and Thursday next week. And I believe there's going to be a YouTube video uh, on the APB, APB Reloaded official YouTube channel as well. So you can tune in for that. We will have a transcript ready for that as well, hopefully in the near future. Um, What's another thing very quickly, just to add on to that last question, uh, you may be aware of the APB advanced launcher that was indeed confirmed by the previous community manager to be an acceptable third party tool. Um, are you looking to keep that sort of uh, ruling the same or are you looking to kind of change your opinion on this? Um, I'll tell you, it, it, that bears more research. We, what we're going to do is take a look at the take a look at the advanced launcher and run it against BattleEye run it, you know, run it, and just, we, we don't want to improperly ban people for using something that we've made a ruling on, so okay. um, my, my feeling right now is, please don't use it, um, because we don't want to trigger any weird, uh, you know, any weird things. I'd rather do some research, figure out if, if there's ways for us to take those features and put them in the game quickly, um, or, or if we come out and say it's okay, then we need to have done the research. Sure, it's okay. Okay. Okay, that's good. Um, how much time have you got left? How about one? I, I am down to my final five minutes. Okay. Uh, one more question, if you like. But there is a stigma. Mm. Um, and I think, you know, while I feel like the weapon, you know, it, it gives, there's some advantage there, but I, I feel like you could take the worst weapon and give it to the best player. You could take the, the best weapon and give it to the worst player. And, that, and the best player is going to win every time, hands down. It, you know, yeah. it, it is a game of skill. The, the weapon doesn't make that big of a difference okay um however I, I think you know that stigma exists for a reason and in my opinion we do need to go through and balance uh the cost of armistice we're not going to change the fundamental mechanics that it's not going to suddenly not be a free-to-play game no. but i think we need to go through you're right some of the pricing is is a little obscene mm -hmm. um and I, I personally would like to bring that you know down to a balance of mm -hmm. Uh, that, pay, that players just don't feel gouged. I, I don't want yeah. anyone. I think that's why the stigma is there. It's not necessarily that it's pay to win. It's just that some of the stuff is is a little egregious. It's, it's just a little too expensive. Yeah. No, I agree. I think um, I think the, the the thing that you mentioned with pay to win is quite in line with what a lot of community members who have played this game for a long time kind of also agree. There are, I'd say, a few outliers. There's one or two items in the Armors Marketplace which are actually behind a wall. Uh, as a loyalty reward, so once you've spent enough money, now you can get this weapon, and there's no other. Now you can get this weapon, and there's no other way to obtain it. Again, something that something to look at in the future, as it were, and uh, something to kind of address, hopefully. But um, we, we have we have hired um, back one of the designers from the game, and, yeah. and the intention is to also like what you mentioned. There's a couple things that are definitely a little squirrely there, and 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 also try to factor in some of these back into the quest lines or back into the actual in-game um so you can you can get them in-game somehow okay yeah that's nice even if it's like a, a least version or however you'd like to approach it right. then uh yeah that'd be nice okay yeah. um so i think the one that you have been talking <laughs>
pretty much check that out. I'll leave a link down in the description for show. Um, I'm not gonna play the whole video. I mean, like that's that's a whole hour, so you guys can just check it out yourselves. <clears throat> and a lot has been said, man. A lot has been said. I'm not gonna discuss everything that's been said. There's a lot of interesting questions that um, he asked Matthew Scott. And Matthew Scott had a lot of good answers and exciting things, man, for the future of this game. I'm starting to have more and more hope, but without further ado, I'm going to explain or read to you guys some of the highlights that caught my eye. Um, so, will you be uh, changing the cheat detection? If so, will you be looking to unban players from the past? Will there be banned broadcasts in the future? All right. Um, they also went on to ask... Uh, will you be addressing the poor performance and optimization on the console versions of the game? Also, are there going to be any further extensions to the ignore friends list? Will the system be changed at all? And if so, how? Um, that's pretty interesting, man. That's definitely for us console players, man. This thing is running like booty and booty holes, man. Um, also, a lot of players are curious to the future of the weapon balance in this game. Do you plan on making changes to the weapons in the near future also we asked in the distant future will character server transfers be possible that's very interesting very interesting right there um wow so let's continue uh players are eager to see a proper trading system in the game be implemented is this a possibility what plans do you have to improve the competitive scene of the game also very interesting um, will armor's pricing in the future be changed? If so, on the subject of microtransactions, how do you plan on tracking the pay-to-win stigma that's been haunting this game for a very long time? So these are all good questions, man. There was many more, but I'm not going to like go over all of them. I'm also going to leave a link down below to these highlights from that Q&A. If you don't want to watch the whole hour Q&A, which I could imagine, Here's a, well, down below, I'll leave a link to all of these highlights, and you guys can take your time and read through it and read what Matthew Scott had to say. He answered everything, and I was I was contented with his answers, um, and they're just, they're just going to be busy with the game, man. They have a lot of stuff to do, um, but that's it for the video. I don't want to, like, hold you guys up too long. You guys can go check it out for yourselves. I just wanted to update you guys on what's been going on. A link to all of this information is down below. And if you guys found this helpful, please drop a like. I would be very happy. I would be very happy if you guys could do that for your boy. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll keep you guys updated on anything that happens in the future that you guys need to know. So I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Maybe it's APB, maybe H1Z1, because that game is lit. I already got eight kills. I mean, eight wins, man. Let's go.